hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel so first of all we're going to go in and apply some scotch tape or sticky tape whatever you like to call it to the corner of my eyes i want to create that nice sharp cut crisp line along the edge of the eyeshadow and i always find this tape really helps to create a nice guide for that Next, I'm going in and priming my lids. Of course, I'm using my classic paint pot from MAC. This is in the shade Soft Ochre. And I'm applying that with an Eeg Show eyeshadow brush, I believe. I can't... Or crease brush, maybe? <laughs> I'll leave it linked down below for you guys, as well as a discount code for those brushes if you would like to check them out. Next, I'm going to take this beautiful yellow eyeshadow and I'm applying that all through my crease with the Wave Art crease brush. I want to really build up this pigment to be quite opaque so I start off lightly with that yellow and I start to build it up slowly until it's to my desired pigmentation. Next I'm going in and cutting the crease and also mapping out that shape of like that flick on the outer corner as well. With a lip brush from Eeg Show, I find this the best brush ever to cut my crease. It's my new favourite brush. It just is so flexible. It applies the product really smoothly, easily and just cuts my crease really well. And as you guys can see, I'm cutting the crease, basically keeping it to my natural crease shape. I'm not really overlining it or anything. And then I'm also flicking it out, creating a sort of wing on the outer corner. I also used my Chumbo Pencil in Milk, I forgot to mention, as the the cream base um, because I want it to be white so this eyeshadow really stood out against that white cream base, if you know what I mean. It's like a blank canvas kind of thing. Next, from my Chi Chi Pride palette, I'm going in with these beautiful kind of peachy pink tones and applying that to the inner third of my eyelid. Then I'm going to pack on this beautiful, uh, more cool toned pink on the center of my lid. So just placing that right next to those peachy pink tones. We're not going to blend them in together yet. We're just going to pack on the color and then we'll blend a bit later. Then I'm going in with this more kind of like burgundy, purpley, ready tone on the very outer third of my eyelid. So along that wing shape. As you guys can see, it is quite harsh at the moment, like the three stark different colors. So this is when we go in and blend them together. So I'm going to take a bit of the pink shade and the peachy pink shade and blend those two together and once I've blended those two colors together I'll go in with that more purpley tone and the pink shade again and I'll go and blend those colors together till they're nice and seamless and all three shadows just melt together super seamlessly and there's no harsh like defining line okay so now for the more trickier part of the look I'm going in with an eyeliner. This is the Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline and I'm applying this along the cut crease. Do take your time with this step because it is quite like tedious and quite intricate so yeah just take your time. I do really love this eyeliner though because it does make the whole process so much easier just with that felt tip kind of um, wand to it. So once you've applied that black liner through the crease I'm actually going to go in and grab a eyeliner brush from Eeg Show and some of this pink lipstick from Revlon. I'm not quite sure what the color is but I will leave it linked down below for you guys. And I'm applying that lipstick in little dots along my crease just above that kind of cut crease eyeshadow. So all along that yellow part. And this will be the leopard print for today. So I'm doing little different sized circles and dots along my crease to kind of mimic that leopard print like that imperfect look to that leopard print pattern and then once you're happy with the little dots along your crease I'm going to go in with an eyeliner again and I'm going to draw little half circles around those um, little leopard print dots so I like to make it kind of haphazard there's no rhyme or reason to this because as you guys can see in any leopard print look they are just random lines encircling those beautiful little spots that leopards have I also draw little black dots and little, little random squiggle lines along the crease as well to kind of mimic that imperfection. So like I said, do take your time with this step and kind of keep it random. It makes it look more realistic as there isn't any perfection to it. It's just very like in quotation marks like natural. <laughs> So once you've done that, which I was actually really happy with how it turned out, I'm actually going to go in and highlight my brow bone. Yes, you definitely should have done this before the leopard prints. Totally did not remember. But I'm going in with the WA shade from my Focalore Travel Palette and applying that to the very highest points of my brow bone. Kind of just missing those little leopard print spots so it doesn't highlight those. <laughs> 
for lashes today, I went in with my Attitude Lashes in the style Feisty. I felt like I added a little bit of drama to this look, perfect amount. They didn't cover up too much of the eyeshadow either. Next, I'm going in with the fun bit. This is the glitter. So I take three kind of different glitters. One is um, a mermaid glitter. The other one is like a more holographic glitter, um, which is more chunkier. And then I also go in with these beautiful stars as well. And I'm applying them kind of in layers. So I'm going in with that very fine mermaidy glitter first, um, applying it with some lash glue. Then what I do is go in with some of that more chunkier holographic glitter over top. And then finally I'll go in with about three stars, one on the tip of the glitter, one kind of in the middle and then one right near my lash line as you guys can see. And I'll just repeat that process on the other eye as well. So once you've done that and you're happy with how the glitter looks, I'm going to go in and line my waterline. I'm actually using a nude, but I do think a pink eye coal, like a really hot pink eye coal would look so pretty with this look. Um, but I'm using my model's prefer nude eye coal and applying that to my waterline to really open up the eyes. Next, on a precise shader brush, I'm applying this beautiful pink shadow that we used on our lid right up tight against my bottom lash line um, from outer corner and working it towards my inner corner. Then I'm going to blend it out with some of those peachy pink shades that we used before and on a gloss pencil brush. I'm really smoking it out. I want it to be quite smoky on my bottom lash line. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm actually taking this really vibrant yellow eyeshadow from the palette. It's more of an orangey yellow. And I'm applying that with the same pencil brush on my inner corner and bottom inner corner lash line. I just felt the yellow really tied well with the crease. Then I'm going to go in with some mascara on my bottom lashes and coat those nice and thick. And then I went back in with a little bit of glitter just to touch up along that bottom lash line. I just brought it down just a smidge on the bottom outer third kind of lash liney area. And that, my loves, is the completed pink leopard print look. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I thought it was quite fun, vibrant, very different, and it did keep with that kind of leopard theme that I have been seeing around social media a little bit. So yeah, if you guys did like it, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Those really help me out. It helps me know if you guys like the tutorial or not. And also leave any requests for future videos down below in the comment section. I love you all so, so much. Have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.